All right, this one's going to be on ZSH uh, aliases. So I talked about aliases in Bash a long time ago, but in ZSH they actually had more options. So I'll show you what it is here. But let's recap here. Alias is the normal one. You just type in alias and you give it like a nickname. Say for example, um, I don't know, Bob or something. And you can actually assign it to like a command that you want. So we'll do something basic. Uh, we'll tell it to open gedit. Right, and end it with a single quote, or you can use double quotes if you want, doesn't really matter. Single or double quotes, right? But there you go. So, usually we type in gedit to open gedit, but um, like you know, for example, you type in gedit to open gedit, but since we have an alias now, we just type in Bob and we just open gedit also. So, that's what the alias does basically, just like a, a, sh a short nickname for a long ass command if you want to do that or a short command um, but in, in um, ZSH you can actually do some more stuff with it uh, it's not limited to you know bash I believe some other shells you know have these features too but I'm not really aware of the other ones um, only in ZSH here but I'll show you what it is here uh, suffix so these are the suffix aliases uh, for example we'll list out some files so we have like a txt file here and a log file, right? And uh, you don't actually have to type in extra arguments. You just type in like the file name and it'll open with the editor you want. So if we do that with an alias and you do dash s for suffix um, and then you give this uh, the extension. So let's say for example we use you know the txt extension. So you type in txt equals and let's say what kind of editor you want to use. For example, if you want to use like nano or um, what's that, command line editor, you type in just nano and that's it, push enter. Um, and that's you know how you make the alias for that. Um, but this is how it works here. So if I type in like any of these uh, txt extensions, so for example if I type in t rtmp dump code here with txt at the end and you push enter, you see it opens with nano so that's the suffix that's what that does but let's get out of that so you see you just type in the file name of it uh, with no extra arguments it'll just uh, open it with you know the one that you assign it to so that's the suffix and you can do this with GUI apps too it's just that um, I don't know how you break it out from the terminal so I'll give you an example of what I'm talking about if we go make another suffix here we'll do this for the log files up here right this log file here and we'll assign this to gedit and now when we open it with the, the app.log here um, and you see it does open it right they have the content here the thing is that it's stuck in the terminal I'm not sure how you put it in the background or whatever or break it out from the terminal I mean um, so that's the drawback of that um, another one is called the global aliases so I'll give me an example of that here now the global aliases is you can put it anywhere you know within uh, the code because usually in aliases it has to start in, in the front and the other one that I just show you is in the, the back the way back but this one is global you can actually use it anywhere in between the lines so you can type it as and let's say you want to put it in the middle or something like that it doesn't really matter right so that's what's called global but let me give you an example of that um, you know usually people do like what is it? Let me give you an example. Let's say you cat the app dot log here, uh, and then sometimes people use the pipe sign, and they grep for something like grep. Uh, what line do they have in there? Like desktop in there, right? Right, and you grep it out, and you see it greps out like three lines that has desktop in it. Uh, you can do that too. So, for example, if we do alias dash g for global. Uh, we'll call this we'll call this GG whatever capital GG all right for a grep and we'll assign this to um, you know this thing that we just did here the pipe and the grep sign here right so we do the pipe sign and then grep um, and then we'll end it there with the single quotes and now when you use this it'll do basically the same thing it's just that maybe it's a little bit shorter right so we do cat app log 
and we'll just type in gg and then we'll just type in you know the word that we want to search for or the word that we want to grab out and you see it does the same thing there you go that's the same thing it has the three lines that we grabbed it out uh, but it's a little bit shorter you just use gg it replaces the one that we did up here the pipe and the grep sign anyway so that's the regular aliases the suffix and then uh, the global one which uh, pretty cool is much better than bash because bash is just like limited to just one uh, that I know of anyways if you're using ZSH and you know about that um, you know might start learning that and then apply it to your other aliases that you want to use or expand but that's it for this one